Hey what's up guys, today I'm going to show you how you can put together a simple website just like this in about 20 minutes no matter what your skill level is. Okay so before we actually start building I want to go over a couple things and then we'll get right into it. Website hosting is where your website is going to live online. It's where all your content is stored, all your videos, your pictures, anything basically that's on your website is stored there. And then all of that information is stored on the server. Here's another way I like to explain this to people. Think if you were going to build a house, you would need the land to put the house on. When you're building a website, you're going to need somewhere to put the website on. So basically the land is the website hosting and your website is the house. Website hosting normally costs about $60 to $100 a year, sometimes more. But today I'm going to show you how to get website hosting for just $12 a year plus a free domain name. A website domain is the link to your website. So for example, here's some other website domains. Google.com, YouTube.com, Amazon.com, GoDaddy.com. You get the idea. Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to jump over to my website, which is CreateWPSite.com, and this is where we're going to get the uh, special discount for website hosting and a free domain. So just go up here to Special Deals. And we're going to click on uh, the GoDaddy coupon. We're just going to click view this offer. Okay, so this is the page you guys are going to land on. And we're going to click on the economy package for $1 a month. And now this video is going to cut to another video that is going to show you how to install your hosting and set up WordPress. And then after that, I'll come back and we'll start building the actual website. Okay, now pick your domain name, just whatever domain name you want, something that's going to be relevant to whatever your website's going to be about. I'm just going to do this one real quick. Okay, Finance and Solutions is available. Click Add and Continue. Okay, and then after you did that, you land on this page right here. And this is just going to show you your total and... Uh, since you click that link, it automatically applied this promotional code. And just to show you, it will remove it. 1218. If you don't have that, it's back up to 60 bucks. So put that code. I'm gonna put that code back in for sure. And then I'm gonna go here, and I'm just gonna go to proceed to checkout. Okay, and um, I'm gonna sign up as a new customer. Okay, so I just entered all my information in. It's going to be blurred out for obvious reasons, but um, when you get the account information right here, email address, username, password, make sure you write all that stuff down, or uh, just make a note of it somewhere, even though I'm pretty sure they're going to give it to you anyways. And uh, the next thing you need to do is go down to payment information and pay however you want. I'm going to choose PayPal. Okay, and then after you pay, you're going to land on your uh, confirmation page. And um, all you're going to do is, if everything looks right, 1218 should be your total. Click I agree, and then place your order. And um, that's it. You now have website hosting. Okay, now before we go and install WordPress, first I want you to go up here and go to Manage My Domains. And we're going to verify our email. we got to do that before we can do anything. So just uh, come right here, click Verify Email. Now check your email and there should be some type of message there. Okay, so I'm going to go check my email now. Okay, and if you, uh, you can see right here it says Action Required. Verify your email. Okay, now that's it. Your uh, account is verified. Now we're going to click here, go to my account, and we're going to set up WordPress. And you can just, you can do this if you want, or you can just skip it. I'm just going to click no thanks. Okay, so when we get on this page, we're going to go here, and we're going to go to web hosting and click manage. 
and right where it says new cPanel, click setup. Now you can select a new domain. It's already selected. I'm going to go here and I'm going to create a, a username and a password. Okay, now after you do that, make sure you make some kind of note of that and then click finish. Now we're going to click get started. Okay, now you should be in your cPanel and to install WordPress, we're just going to scroll down here to web applications and click WordPress. Okay, then come right here and hit install this application. Okay, now when it gets to this part, we're just going to leave it blank. So anytime anybody goes to this link, they'll land on your page. Scroll down here. This stuff should be all figured out for you right here. I'm going to click install. Okay, and then you land on this page after you're done. And um, if you ever need to uh, edit your password or, you know, any of those type of things, you can go here, view edit details. It'll give you all your stuff right here. You can edit all that. I'm going to go here and I'm going to click this one that says uh, backslash WordPress admin. Okay, guys, so we're back and uh, this is the page you should be on. We got all our stuff over here and uh, let's just check out what the site looks like right now. Pretty bland, pretty boring, but uh, we're going to make it look better here in a second. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is install a theme. So we're going to go over here to appearances and click on themes. And we're going to go here and click add new. And as you can see, there's a bunch of themes right here. Um, and more up here if you go right here. But uh, for this example, we're going to use Access Press Mag theme. And here it is right here. Uh, we're going to click install. And then we're going to click activate. If you ever want to um, just preview uh, a theme that you're maybe thinking about using, just click on live preview and it'll show you. But for this, we're going to click activate. Okay, now the theme has been activated. Let's take a look at what it looks like. Still not much, uh, but it's going to look better once we start adding some content. Okay, so now we're going to go up here to post and click add new we're gonna add the we're gonna add the content in and I'm gonna show you how you make your first post so I'm gonna go here and I got some example text that I'm gonna be using this is just for an example that's why it looks like that then I'm going to go over here and go down here to Featured Image, Set Featured Image. Click this and click this one right here. And now it doesn't really matter what image you used. Uh, just, you know, go on Google, wherever you can find images. And uh, you don't really have to worry about the size too much. The theme usually um, will uh, size it for you. Just don't use anything too small, though. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to click publish and we'll see what that looks like. Okay, so we got one post right here and I'm going to come back. I'm going to add about four or five other posts and then I'm going to come back. Okay guys, so I'm getting ready to finish up my last blog post here and I just wanted to go over a couple more things with you before we move on to the next steps. and. Um, one of the things is if you ever want to add an, uh, any kind of image or you know a video or anything like that, it's the same thing as setting a featured image. You go to Upload Files, pick whatever picture you want, you go down right here, you click Insert Post, and then it'll be right there. And then the other thing I wanted to go over too is the categories. Depending on you know whatever your website is, uh, for mine it's a health uh, website, so. I added a category. You can click here, add whatever category you want. Click add new category for this. Um, 
I'm just going to put it under the categories of diet and weight loss. I'm going to scroll down here, set the last featured image. Actually, it's right there. Okay, we'll click this, and then we're going to come up here, click Publish, and let's take a look at it real quick. All right, so as you can see, it's starting to come along a little bit. As once you get the once you get uh, content up and start getting uh, pictures, your site is going to look a lot more full. So let's uh, continue. Okay, now we're going to go over here and we're going to add some new pages. And the first page I'm going to add is just weight loss. And you guys can add. Uh, you guys don't have to add pages. Um, I, if you want to you can if you don't need to then you know you don't have to but for this example uh, there's pages um, so I'm just gonna add them and uh, you can put whatever content down here but for the example I'm just gonna leave this blank right now just to show you how to uh, actually make the pages and then I'm just gonna click publish and again I'm gonna show you where that would pop up and see it's would pop up right here and now I'm gonna add in some other pages and I'm gonna come back Alright guys, so I just finished adding the last page in, and let's take a look at what it looks like now. Okay, as you can see, uh, all the pages are up here, and um, if you go to uh, Privacy Policy, or Contact Us, or About, uh, there's going to be a link right here to the Privacy Policy page, so if you don't know how to make a Privacy Policy page, uh, you can click right there. It's going to show you how to do it. Same here. Same thing with the contact us page and the about us page. These are just um, those three are pages that you should always have on your site. Uh, Google likes it. Um, they just make your site look more professional, and they're pages that you need. So now we're going to move on to the next step. And one more thing before we move on to the next step: if you guys ever wanted to um, change the order of how these look right here, say you got say you have 10 pages you would come here and say you wanted your privacy policy first which normally you wouldn't want but for just for an example you would put this as number one and then whatever one you wanted for number two you'd put as number two and just you know so on and so on and so on until you get to page 10 that's how you do that okay so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna go over here to settings and this is where you're going to name your website you're gonna put the site title and you're gonna put the tagline you don't really you don't need the tagline but um, you can use it if you want okay now I'm going to add my title which is weight loss guide 2016 and this is gonna be my tagline I'm gonna scroll down here and I'm gonna click save changes okay now once you did that we can go over here and you can see right there it's all updated with your tag and your title and now we're going to come over here and we're gonna to go to appearance and we're gonna to go to widgets and this is where we're going to add in the we're gonna come right here because we're gonna add uh, a banner to the right sidebar and you can um, put this I usually put it right under the search bar right here okay so now how you're gonna add the link to or how you're gonna add the banner rather to the right sidebar is you're gonna need a link to the image so we're gonna go over here to tinypick.com we're gonna click browse and we're going to find the image I want that's what I want and uh, this banner is size 300 by 250 300 width um, is normally the size of uh, right sidebar so it's pretty much the perfect width so try for if you're gonna put a banner up try for uh, 300 by you know anything 250 is usually good it'll look good we're gonna click uh, OK and then we're gonna click upload okay and then uh, this pay little pop-up is gonna come in there whatever it says please enter just type it in then click upload now and it's gonna take you to this page and the code you're gonna want is right here this first one right click that and then click copy 
and close that page now and then you're just going to right click again and you paste it in hit save and let's go up to the site and see if it worked and it worked there it is okay now we're going to add the top banner up here and to do that we're gonna click this customize right here it's gonna take you here and then we're just gonna go over here to widgets and you'll see a uh, header add add widget right here scroll down here gonna click text again we're gonna go and do the same thing go to tinypick.com same thing as you did for the uh, right sidebar image and we're gonna click this uh, 720 by 90 banner click upload and uh, again it'll take you to this page and we're just going to copy that same link that we did use last time right click paste it in here click save and publish and right there it is okay then we're just gonna go back here just to do some couple other little things just to make it look better we're going to come down here we're gonna get rid of this uh, you can keep this one up here um, I'm gonna remove this one recent comments you can keep that if you want but just for this I'm gonna remove it so we just have these and let's take a look at how that looks it helps clean it up a little bit and that's how it looks okay guys so really that's it uh you know that was pretty painless right uh you know the site is complete and it's full of content well example content uh hopefully your site is filled with useful information for people to enjoy so yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and hopefully you learned something like i said before too uh it, it doesn't matter what you what skill level you have all you have to do is follow these directions and you can have a site just like this one so if you have any questions leave it in the comments section below and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and i'll talk to you guys later bye